Hello everyone. Welcome back to Edureka YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing the interview question asked for a business analyst position. If you are interested in starting your career as a business analyst and are you worried what topics to be prepared for the business analyst interview? If yes, and then this video is for you. It's best to prepare answers to all the questions when we go for an interview. The more familiar you are with what questions may be asked, the better is your chances of clearing the interview. Here are some of the top 35 questions that may be asked during the interview. But before that, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Let's get started with our agenda of today's session. First, we will go through the basic business analyst interview question. Next is the technical business analyst interview question. Finally, we will go through the advanced business analyst interview question. But before that, we will understand what is business analyst. A business analyst is a professional who assists in business process, products and services. They will analyze and evaluate the problem and opportunities to develop solution through software data analysis for the organization to meet its objectives and maintain a close relationship with the stakeholders to meet their requirements. Now, without any further delay, let's get started with our first question. What is the role of business analyst? They are a very important part of an organization because they work within the company to maintain a current system and plan for the future. They make an equal contribution to the company, they monitor business needs and take suitable actions. They will help in communicating between the management the company and the technical system among other things. Next, we will move on to the next question. Can you list out the skills you have as a business analyst? As a business analyst, you should understand business objectives. There are two types of skills which you have to know mainly. One is the technical skills and the non-technical skills. Technical skills which include good communication skills, database knowledge, SQL for data analysis and maintenance and non-technical skills such as documentation, management skills, and requirement analysis. You should also be able to collaborate with others, make decisions, and think creatively and lead others. Our next question is, what are the key roles and responsibility of a business analyst? The key roles and responsibility of a business analyst will impact the company. The primary function is to gather ideas, develop them, and implement them in order to achieve the organization goal. Their duties varies from companies to company, but generally includes understanding the objectives and challenges of the organization, assisting its requirements, putting innovation ideas into practice to achieve its objectives, and supporting IT and the technological solutions. Our next question is, what is invest? Explain it. This is one of the most commonly asked questions in business analyst interview. The meaning of invest is independent, negotiable, valuable, estimable, suitably sized, and testable. Managers and business analysts use this phrase to provide high quality products and services. Our next question is, who are stakeholders and the type of stakeholders? Stakeholders are individual, group, or other entities that are interested in the project's outcome or have a responsibility in business analysis. Since they play a crucial role in business analysis process, their participation is vital to the success of the project. Now, we will go through the type of stakeholders. Primary stakeholders who directly impact the project or have an important and immediate impact on it are considered as primary stakeholders. They are crucial to the project's success and have a keen interest in its results. Second is the secondary stakeholders. Secondary stakeholders are those who are interested in the project's outcome but have a less impact than the primary stakeholder. Their participation may be indirect. Finally, the key stakeholder. The key stakeholders are the subset of the primary stakeholder who are crucial in the project's success. They hold more power and can have a significant impact on the project's direction and success. Our next question is, what is the difference between business analytics and business analysis? Business analytics. It's particularly based on data and reporting, and it includes skills, technologies, and past performance investigation, as well as the information search. Next is business analysis. It's more focused on function and processes. 
It depends upon its own architecture, such as process architecture and enterprise architecture. Our next question is, what is SWOT analysis? SWOT analysis is required in many fields and it is an important term in the success of any businesses because it helps in identification and evaluation of the organization's strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. SWOT analysis use the business analytics to gain a thorough understanding of the current business environment and to notify the strength decision making. Moving on to the next question. What are the steps involved in business analysis process flow? The steps and activities involved in conducting business analysis are explained in business analysis process flow. This process helps organization in identifying and defining their business needs, gathering and analyzing relevant data, and then making informed decision to achieve the goals of the organization. Here are a few steps involved in the business analysis process flow. Gathering of data, determine the key stakeholders, identify the business goals, Evaluate the available alternatives, extend the definition, create a delivery plan, define the project's requirements, implementation and evaluation. Our next question is, what is gap analysis? The difference between the functionality of the existing and the targeted system is known as gap analysis. The gap donates the modification required to achieve the desired result. It also determines the best path to the roles, comparing to the current state to its ideal state. Next question is, how do you perform risk management in your projects? A risk is an unanticipated occurrence that presents a potential threat to the company's outgoing operations, potentially affects their revenue or even the profitabilities. The steps of the risk management process are identifying the risk, analyzing it, plan according to it, and take action. Our next question is, what is the difference between data analyst and a business analyst? Within an organization, data analyst and business analyst plays a crucial role. Data analyst, their approach is more analytical. They help companies by analyzing data and using its present values for the business stakeholders. They also help analysis and identification of business or market trends. Needs to be flawless in analysis, statistics, and math. Whereas business analysts are responsible for understanding business process, identifying business needs, and proposing solutions to those needs. The main goal is to match company's plan with the organization's capabilities. They must be expert in business analysis, tools, techniques, etc. Our next question is, what are the different tools used in business analytics? Some of the important tools used by business analytics are Google Docs. Business analysts and other professionals utilize Google Docs a well-liked cloud-based document editing and a collaboration tool. Google Docs is used by business analysts for various tasks. Trello, it is a popular project management and a collaboration tool that can help business analysts in various ways. Trello conduct tasks and activities using card-based system, making it useful for project management, tracking process, and collaborating with the team members and stakeholders. Next is Jira. Jira is a popular project management and an issue tracking tool. While Jira is most commonly associated with the software development and the IT team. Next is Tableau, a data visualization tool that allows user to create an interactive and shareable dashboards. Finally, Python, programming languages used for data analysis, statistical modeling, and data manipulation. Moving on to the next question. Mention various stages of business project. The main aim of a business or the IT projects are initiation. Initiation where the project has been planned, defined and authorized during the initial stage. It involves identifying the project objectives, goals and the problems to be solved. Creating a project character defines the project scope and identifying the initial stakeholders are very important. Next is planning. The project team creates a detailed plan of how the project should be executed, tracked, and controlled during the planning stage. Next is the execution. This stage consists of carrying out the project work as specified in the project plan. 
Members of the project team completes tasks, manage resources and deals with the issue that arises during the changes. Next is monitoring. The project success is being continuously measured and monitored at this stage to ensure that it aligns with the project management plan. Finally, closure. The project formal conclusion is being marked by the closure state. The project team verifies that all the deliverable were met and the objectives of the projects were also met. Our next question is, what is feasibility study? Feasibility study is an important stage in the project planning execution that evaluates the feasibility and the survival of the proposed project or the business idea. The objective is to determine whether a project is worthwhile to pursue, take into account various factors and potential challenges. Before investing into important resources, time and effort in the project, feasibility studies are being conducted. Moving on to the next question. What according to you are the core competencies of business analyst? Some of the business analyst abilities are decision making and analytical thinking, business and industry expertise, management of business processes, technical and interpersonal abilities. Finally, negotiation and problem solving abilities. Now we are done with the basic business analyst interview questions. Now we will move on to the technical business analyst interview questions. Our first question is, what do you mean by critical path analysis? From start to finish, a project will entail a series of activities. A critical path is a set of activities that includes the project longest path. As a result, critical path analysis is an important component in shortening projects timelines and controlling cost. Moving on to the next question. Do you believe technical expertise is a must for a business analyst? Could you define your business intelligence and database skills? While not all business analysts require technical knowledge, they frequently work with various tools and methodologies. Business intelligence and database skills are useful for a business analyst working on a project that require data analysis and reporting. When working on a project where data is important, database skills may be advantageous. However, not all business analysts require these skills because they will be depending upon a specific responsibilities and requirements for the role as well as the industry in which they work. Next question is, list out the different stages of STLC. The software development life cycle is a software development process that is used to design, develop, test and maintain software systems. Business analysts are very essential for these stages and it has five important phrases, planning, requirement analysis, where the role of business analyst is very important. Design, implementation, and product maintenance. Our next question is, what is business modeling? Business modeling is a step-by-step -step process for determining the value of a company. The following are the key characters of business modeling for developing a strategy plan for an organization. Vision refers to a long-term goal, aspiration, and a desired outcome that a company tries to achieve. Mission refers to a brief statement outlining a company or organization core purpose, fundamental values, and primary goals. Objective refers to a specific, measurable, and a time-bound goal established by the company as a part of its strategy planning process. Strategy In business modeling, strategy include the planned approach, action that a company takes to achieve its goal and fulfill its mission and vision. Plan of action. In business modeling, a plan of action is a detailed outline of the steps and activities that a company takes to implement its strategies, achieve its goal, and realize its vision and mission. The next question is, what is the difference between software development life cycle and project life cycle? In the field of business analysis, a software development life cycle is a structured approach of developing enhancing or maintaining software solution that address specific business needs or problems used in developing of certain software products, requirement gathering, design, coding, documentation, operations, and maintenance are all its process. The project life cycle refers to phrases or stages that a project go through from start to finish. 
Business analyst plays a very important role throughout the project life cycle, defining, analyzing, and managing business requirements. Used in creating of a new business product. Screening, research, development, testing, and analysis are all its process. Next question is, what is process design? The creation of process to achieve specific goals is known as process design. It entails defining operating conditions, raw materials, equipments, and other process aspects. The determination of desired output levels, process flow diagrams, and other process characteristics are also the part of process design. Our next question is, what is UML? Unified Modeling Language is a standardized modeling language used by business analysts, software engineers, and other system design and development professionals to visually represent, document, and communicate various aspects of the system or business process. UML is a valuable tool for business analysts because it provides a common and universal understood notation for modeling complex systems and processes. It is an important tool for business analysts to use in gathering, analyzing, and communicate requirements to the development team and other stakeholders. Our next question is, what are the purpose of requirement traceability matrix? The requirement traceability matrix is used to record all of the requirements provided by the client, and its purpose is to ensure that all the requirements are being met. The RCM is a useful tool used by business analysts and project managers to ensure that the project requirements are being managed efficiently throughout the project life cycle. Our next question is, what is BRD and how it is different from SRS? The business requirement document is a document that captures and describes the high level business needs and objectives that drives a project. Whereas SRS is a technical document that specifies how the software system should function and be built. The BRD establishes the project's context and the business justification, whereas SRS guides the software development team in developing the solutions based on the technical requirements. Now, we have reached the final question in the technical round. What are use cases? And which are the two documents related to use case? A use case is an important part of a software modeling because it describes how a person uses a process or a system to achieve his goal. It is a graphical representation of a system that clearly defines who can use the system. The two documents are system design document, functional requirement document. Now, we will move on to the advanced business analyst interview questions. Our first question is, what is Carnot analysis? Carnot analysis assists businesses in understanding the dynamics of various types of customer needs and organizing them accordingly. The techniques used to identify the end user requirements for new products, also the method to identify the basic needs of the customer performance and mainly deals with the end user requirements. Our next question is, as a business analyst, what are your thoughts on AI? Do you consider it as a positive or a negative implication? AI has both positive and a negative implication. It depends upon the factors including the context and the application. A few AI positive implications are machine learning and robotics process automation are the examples of AI technology that can streamline and automate tasks, freeing up human resources to focus more on strategies and value-added activities. AI can quickly process and analyze massive amount of data, allowing business analysts to drive valuable insights and make data-driven decisions. In the other hand, AI will replace some of the routine tasks currently performed by business analysts, potentially resulting in job replacement. AI system relies on massive amount of data, which raises complex amount data privacy and security. Adopting of AI in business analysts may face challenges data quality issues, and the requirement of new skill set. In the end, the impact of AI in business analysis is determined by how it is being used, the specific use case, and the strategies implemented to address possible drawbacks and challenges. Next question is, how do business analysts manage client requirements and changes? When a new request comes in, the change log must be updated. 
The changes required are assessed and analyzed. The senior analyst must monitor each requirements. Demonstrate the changes required to the change control board. Provide the necessary solution for the changes required and demonstrate and implement those changes. Ensure that the implemented solution was successful. Our next question is, as a business analyst, how would you prioritize requirements when faced with limited resources and tight deadlines? Prioritizing requirements is an important aspect of a business analyst. Begin by learning about the needs and expectations of the key stakeholders such as business leaders, users and customers. To prioritize requirements, use the MOS-COW method. Must have, should have, could have and won't have. This method assists stakeholders in determining which requirements are crucial and which can be put off. Each requirement should be evaluated based on its potential impact on the project success and the effort required to implement it. Identify the requirements that can lead to a great risk to the project. Maintain open and transparent conversation with the stakeholders to ensure that they can understand why the priorities were chosen. The key to successful requirement prioritization is finding the balance between the business value and the stakeholders' requirements. Next question is, how to handle difficult stakeholders? Understand the stakeholders completely by having a clear picture of the project. Updating details on the stakeholders at every point, communicating with the stakeholders to understand their vision, and communicating with the project manager to ensure that each demand is being implemented completely. Our next question is, why it is necessary for a business analyst to get involved during the implementation of requirements? A business analyst have two main criteria, which are gaining domain knowledge and providing an analytical solution. As a result, a business analyst can assist in resolving many business strategy related issues that may arise during the implementation stage of the requirements or use case. On the other hand, they can learn from the problems, which will allow them to provide solution in similar scenarios and gain domain knowledge. Next question is, what are the essential qualities of Agile Business Analyst? An Agile Business Analyst is someone who understands the Agile methodology and can assist a team in working within it. They must be able to communicate efficiently, be well organized and pay close attention to details. They must also be able to work well under pressure and quickly adopt to changes. Do you think Business Analysts should be involved in testing? If yes, which are the different types of testing? Yes, business analysts can be helpful in testing process, especially in the earlier stage and for certain types of testing. Business analyst participation in testing can be helpful to ensure that the software or the system is being developed properly. While business analysts can be helpful asset to the testing process, a devoted testing team makes up of testing engineers and quality assurance professional is to require to perform a thorough and objective testing. The role of business analyst is to bridge the gap between the business requirements and testing, ensuring that the software meets the requirements to achieve the business goals. Our next question is, as a business analyst, how do you determine that you have gathered all the necessary information? We can conclude that all requirements are gathered only when it has been validated and approved by business users. The requirements are properly aligned with the project's business requirement. The requirements can be met using the available resources. All the key business stakeholders agree on the elicited requirements. Our final question is, as a business analyst, you are being assigned to a project for ABC Detail to enhance its online shopping platform. Please outlet the key steps you would take to gather the requirements Ensure that they are aligned with the goals and objectives of ABC Detail. The first step is gathering requirements for improving ABC Detail online shopping platform. Understanding the project scope, objectives and constraints. Interview stakeholders one-on-one -on -one or in group to learn about their perspective, pain points and needs. Examine the necessary documents. Make a connection between the requirements and business objectives. The business analyst can gather and document requirements that are in line with ABC Detail Codes. Finally, 
recognize abc retail overall business goals and objectives i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching and keep learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning